Welcome to the Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast, episode 324. Today is Monday, September 17th, as we are recording. It's about 8.30 in the morning, maybe a little later. Oh, it's actually 9, 9 o'clock. o'clock. Yes, we're getting a little late start this morning. Your fault. No, you woke up late. Your fault. Anyway. My waking up late did nothing to affect it. Oh, pish posh. You're, you're making stuff We up. want to welcome all new and returning viewers. Excuses. We're glad to have you here Excuses. for the Foon in the Woman Cave. I am Marlisha, also known as Lady Fernico. And I'm Tali, also known as Franciscan Gypsy. Okay. Um, let's see. If you are new to the podcast, we're glad podcast. you found us. Yes, we're glad you found us, and we hope that you find something that will keep you coming back. If you are returning, we're always glad to see you back. See you back. Um, yay. Yay. And if you are in the shadows, either new or returning, please do... Uh, join the Ravelry group officially so you can be eligible for the giveaways and the prizes and belongs and just all the camaraderie that takes place over in the group. And if you watch us on YouTube like many of you do, please do press the subscribe button, little red button on your right, and um, ring the little bell or hit the little bell so you get notifications. I think that also pushes us up if people look for knitting and, and crocheting podcasts. So, Also, if you want to be most likely to contact us. I'm most active on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I am most in, I'm most active on Ravelry. Um, you can also contact me on Facebook or Instagram, but mostly on Ravelry. Um, My hair's doing its own thing. I don't always see the Instagram posts unless you, I don't know, ear burn me, tag me, whatever it is you, it's called on Instagram. And Facebook, I do check about once a day or twice a day, so I I will see you on Facebook, but uh, Ravelry is probably the best place to get a hold of me. Instagram is most definitely the best place to get a hold of me. Okay. Now, um, oh, I guess we do what's in our mug. Um, in my tortoise versus hare bag. Bag, bag huh? I put my tea in a bag. No, I don't. I put it in an infuser. In my tortoise versus hare mug is Stargazer. Caramel Mott Chai. This is from Plum Deluxe. And there's the tortoise side of the mug. And now so I can drink it, I will turn it around so you can see the hair. You know, because we only have one more week of this. So Mm -hmm. I thought I'd better have my tea. Or 10 days or something like that. And this is really good. Mm. My taste high? I've had it before, but go ahead and put it down. Okay. This is Stargazer Caramel Mott Chai. Kick back and let this tea open your mind. All organic mott tea, cardamom, ginger, orange peel, cloves, cinnamon, aniseed, natural spice, and caramel essences. Love, gratitude. Has caffeine, because I need caffeine this morning. I have a little and bit And that's of, why I only had a little taste. I have a, a little bit of a headache with all this weather we're having. For all those who've been asking about how we're doing here in Virginia, we are in northern Virginia, and thank God we haven't had a lot of weather-related issues as of yet. We thank you for your well wishes. It's starting to rain. It's over raining here. over here now. It's been raining on and off since we before we left for New Jersey. So um, we have flash flood warnings up in various parts of Northern Virginia and D.C., but you know nothing serious. So thank you for for your inquiries and mm-hmm. your good wishes. We appreciate that. Um, what is in your tea? Um, let me do my tea crease. Okay. And my tea is also Plum Deluxe. Because there is no other kind of tea. And he is awesome. He is awesome. Um, now, I only drink his herbals now, mm-hmm. simply for health reasons. Do you also do his low caffeine still? Sometimes I do his low yeah. caffeine. Yeah. Um, this one is white chocolate peppermint herbal tea for sweet and cozy moments. And it's 
Rubio's Tea, Honey Bush Tea, Cocoa Nibs, Coconut Flakes, Flakes, White Chocolate Essence, No Caffeine. I didn't get any love or gratitude. He loves me more. <laughs> I got love and gratitude. Aw. Yeah. Got a crumb on your face. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's such a mom thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the mom. You could have just been like whispered, hey, look. No, but it's more fun to do it that way. Instead of being like Davina style, hey! <laughs> no, that's all of it completely different. Okay. And this is a tea I gave to her, right? Yes. Um, Last week. I, I'm unsure how I react to peppermint, so I will taste hers again. But I don't necessarily want... I can drink mint, but peppermint sometimes affects mm -hmm. me a little bit. So... That's why I was a little concerned with all the cinnamon here, but boy, that is good. This is good. And I might get some more if I decide that I can drink it, but I love Plum Deluxe. Mmm. That is good. I like mine better, but this is good. And that's hard. And that's not something I say lightly when, when you have chocolate and tea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's see. I guess we should get right into... You didn't say what your mug was, did you? Mine's just sat on me awareness yeah. mug. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Okay. All right. In other groups, first of all, before I forget, the girls in the yarn cafe are doing their Rhineback. What is it you say? Rhineback? What I wear to Rhineback? Yeah. Even regardless as to whether or not you're wear, going to Rhineback. Right. What you would make if, uh, what you would wear. What you would, would wear make, if you went to Rhineback. Yeah. And it's stuff that you're making with it. Right. And somebody asked whether we were going to the New York Sheep and Wolves, I assume it's Rhineback. We will not go to, we don't go to Rhineback. Mm -mm. We go to two fiber festivals. We go to Maryland Sheep and Wool in May, and we go to the Shenandoah Valley Fiber Festival in September. Mm -hmm. So we don't, it's too expensive to go to more than two. Mm -hmm. So we go to the two, and um, if that person is going to Shenandoah, we'd love to see her there. Okay, yes. and I will probably mention that at the end when I do the YouTube comments because mm -hmm. she was there. All right. Anyway, this Rhineback sweater or Rhineback is a selfish, a selfish knit. It's what you would wear if you went to Rhineback, regardless of whether or not you go. And I think there are prizes there. I'm, I'm kind of behind with them because we've been in and out doing appointments and out of state and just all kinds of stuff. So I'm behind on my podcast, so I'm really behind with Christy and Tristan. Christy is um, Dragon Horde yarn, and Tristan is... Um, no, Christy is yarn... Yarn Cafe Creations, and Tristan is Dragon Horde Yarn. And they have, one has an Etsy shop, and I think Tristan might be off on her own site. Yeah, I think she is. I don't know what it's called, um, but I think you can find her or ask on the group. They have a wonderful group podcast. It's a lot of fun. Now, the Ready, Set, Christmas Along, that's Studio Von Design in her Bees Knees group. That is not a podcast, but it's a real fun group to be a part of. And she had, she just closed her... Um, her other along, I forget what it was. I can't think right now. The Dragon Along, I think, is closed now. Yeah. Um, but this one is going to start up September 15th, so it started up two days ago. And I think it goes to December 24th, right to the wire. And it is knit crochet or loom knit, and it's Christmas gifts, okay? And she's been really sweet to feature my yarn and Taya's patterns, mm -hmm. as well as round table yarns and her own patterns. So those are eligible for double chance at a prize if you get the FO. Check out the group. It's a lot of fun, okay? And you can get some of that Christmas knitting done. And it can be, it can already be started projects as long as they're not, I think she said 50% finished. Let me see. Um, I can't find it right now. You have to check in her group. And the, ta the tag for the project is capital B, capital N, XMAS 2018. Okay? And there are prizes. I know that there's been at least one prize already. So that's cool. All right? The Harry Potter Cal Cal is a Victorian Studio podcast. Who is Maureen? Another really fun podcast to watch. And this has been going on all year. Rules are in her group. And it's Harry Potter related. Anything Harry Potter related. If you have a question about it, just ask her. She'll get back to you. She's usually pretty accessible. Okay? The Family Movie Night Cal Cal is Crocheting Hoovian in her podcast, the A Crocheting Hoovian podcast. And that's kind of like our tea and tales, only with movies. All right. And you can check out her rules in her group. It's a lot of fun. It goes all year long. And um, she's had a fair amount of activity over there. So that's cool. And she also has the Year of the Socks Cal Cal, 
which is exactly as it sounds, the year of socks. I don't think she accepts animal socks, but she accepts anything else sock-wise, okay? I'm not sure if you're doing Christmas stockings, ask her, okay? I don't know if she accepts that um, because it's just one sock, but it is a big sock for yeah. Christmas stockings. So ask, ask her. She's, she's really accessible. You can probably find her mostly on Instagram or her VKNs and things. She's got something else. I can't remember what it's called because I haven't joined that yet. Um, some other thing where she, you can reach her and she'll let you know if a Christmas stocking is eligible or slippers. Um, now, there are Shorty Socks Cal Cal is an undead yarn that's Heidi from the Undead Yard podcast. She's Knitty Girl, and that's exactly what it says, Shorty Socks, although she has opened it up to all socks, and it is a year-long Cal Cal, so that's something that's really fun. I'm not doing these because I don't do socks, but I highly encourage you who do socks, who do do socks, to um, check that out. It's a good podcast. It's a lot of fun to watch, and she... You know, she has this along, and you might as well double, triple dip, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, just follow the rules. You have to be a member to the group to which you post, of course. Now, Brittany, who is B-Wing, she has the 18 hats in 2018, Cal Cal, and that's, um, and she actually accepts loom hats, too, because I put loom hats in there. So, <laughs> um, she, uh, that's going on all year long, and that's a lot of fun, so you might want to consider doing that. I'm really, I think I'm fairly close to hitting my 18 hats. I'm at 14 hats, but I have at least four other hats on the needle. So I if I finish them, I'll hit my 18. I think I'm 14 as well, and I have three or four on the. Well, you finish your loom hats a lot quicker than I finish yes, my hats. Yes, I, I do, and I, I need to finish up my angel hat so I can get onto some of the other hats that I'm doing. I have the, um, oh, I think, I think it's called the windbreak or windswept. I forget. I'm sorry, Lara. Lara Smoot's pattern. Um, it's a really pretty pattern, but I need to finish Kay's first, her um, um, angel hat, because that's closer to being finished. Mm -hmm. um, let me just see here. I have to write these people down before I forget. All right. The other thing is the 18, to 18 toys in 2018, and that's also Vani. I am not going to hit that. I'm not either, but I do have some toys. I have, <laughs> and I have three on the hooks too, but I I just have not been able to force my hands to do anything other than a few rows of things at a time. I so, haven't felt like toys this year. I do want to do toys, but I just, I don't feel like pushing it to the point where I can't work at all. So I, I've got a few done, and... I may not hit 18, but I'm having fun with it, and it's a lot of fun to see the toys that are in that group. So that's Bee's Knees group, that's Studio Von Design, who's Vonnie. So if you're interested in making toys and getting started for the toy along, that's where you need to go. The toy along can really boost you your uh, toy production for that, mm -hmm. and that's coming up soon. So, yay. Um, then there's the 2018 tracking stash, which is Deb's Destiny, who is Debbie, and Blue Yarn Always, who is Sheila. Oh, for the Never Cast Off podcast, I forgot to pull for the prize for the two shawls. You're a horrible person. I will do that next week, okay, because I forgot. So you I'm guys, ashamed of you. You guys have an extra week to put in for those lovely patterns that Debbie so graciously donated. They are so pretty. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's one, it's a, it's one shawl, but two it's styles. Two styles. And we have two patterns that she donated, and they are really pretty, and I'm glad to see that a lot of people have started putting in for that because it's a really nice pattern. Mm -hmm. And she also put a coupon code for us. It is in the group. So um, thank you so much, Debbie. And the tracking stash is 2018, so that's all year long. You can check out the group for the details. It's a fun podcast. I don't know if they have a recent one up or not yet. I think they're having trouble getting their schedules to mesh, mm -hmm. but they're a lot of fun when they podcast, so that's well worth looking into. Which leads us to tortoise versus hare. And that is Laura Concert, who is crocheting Hoovian. And this is her baby. This has always been her baby, and it's a lot of fun. Um, it started, when did it start? It's almost over. So it started in July? Like yeah, July. It started in July and goes to the end of this month. It's exactly what it says. Tortoise versus hare. Team tortoise or team hare. Okay. And she has graciously asked us to be a co-host again this year. And we said yes because it's exciting and it's fun. And B-Wing is the other co-host. And this is her second time. Um, so this is really fun to be with her again. And all you have to do is make all the bunnies and make all the turtles. Pick a team 
and tortoise and hare. I think the tortoises are still in the lead, uh, which is great for Laura. Uh, Ty is going to have to wear a little sign that says Team Tortoise. I think I actually told her instead of doing that, I would make her color work. Oh, did you? Hat. Is that what you guys decided? Mm -hmm. I, t I gave her that option because I don't want to wear a turtle Team Tortoise uh, sign. You're not supposed to want to do it. You're supposed I'd to... rather make her a hat. <laughs> That's not, you're not supposed to do what you'd rather do. That's I'd rather thing. make her a hat. <laughs> I'm sure she'll agree to that. But anyway, so anyway, it's all, all things tortoise and hair. And her Taya's tortoise and hair patterns are featured patterns. And I think she said my yarns, at least in my in our group, my yarn is a featured um, yarn. So two chances at a prize for featured yarns and featured patterns. If you use my yarn with Taya's patterns, then it's triple. Vani's tortoise and hair little... Um, coasters. I, I, I'm sorry, Vani. I think they're coasters, right? They're not potholders. They're coasters. Those are also double chances at a price of the FO. And if it's with my yarn, it's triple. Okay. I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody for the multiples here for the PHN, for the TH uh, turtle versus hair. I can't talk. I don't, I'm going back to bed. Um, let me see here. I think that's all for the featured. Now we have the prizes we showed you last week, the Interweave Crochet 2009 Collection CD, which has four magazines as one season of 2009, the whole year. And then the Happy Fuzzy Yarn in the Macaw colorway, that's the second prize for the tortoise versus hare. Okay? Now, the Tea and Tails is our baby, and that one is a year long, and it's um, we got about three months left on that, and that's Tea and Tail related. I'm sorry, I just need to get a little drink there. It's anything tea and or tails related, okay? Tails being, and you guys have been with us for a while, but for the benefit of those who are new, mm -hmm. tails are things like graphic novels, chapter books, novels, novelizations, graphic novels, children's books, like Paddington Bear or Zuzu's Petals, or you know things like that, that you can tie in. Okay, that would be eligible. Uh, for this along. T, as we said, it could be the, you know, it could be a name of the yarn, it could be a pattern, whatever, just as long as it's related to T and or tails. Doesn't have to be both, but it, one or the other or both is fine. Okay, we had some really good, um, somebody pulled it in by saying the yarn smelled like lavender. And that made me happy. I was like, I had to give it to her. I was just, it, it was so, it just so <laughs> original. <laughs> lavender. So it was great. So, um, so anything that's tea and tails related, we have featured patterns and featured yarns, okay? Any featured Franciscan Gypsy designs, tea or tail related pattern, and that means that if you say you name Brat the Kitten, Lavender the Kitten, Lavender Earl Grey, Earl Grey the Kitten, mm -hmm. Earl Grey the Kitten, that would be a tea reference, and so it would be eligible, okay? Also on the tail side, she has a ton mm -hmm. for tails. She's got all kind, you know, Barry the Cardinal, uh, Bastion the um, Bastion the Bluebird, Bastion the Bluebird. Yeah, Bastion the Bastion the Bluebird. Um, They're very to... subtle references, but if you can, they are there. You just have to look at the names, okay? So, Crocheting Hoovian's uh, Hufflepuff, which is a Harry Potter related, okay? Any of Laura's three patterns, my pattern. Ty's patterns, if you can relate it to tea and or tails, is worth two chances as a prize. As are Mom Cook's tea and tail related loom knit patterns, Joanna Johnson's knitted tea and or tail related mm -hmm. patterns, and am I missing somebody? Knitted? You got the crochet, Joanna's got the knitted. If they're able Mom to Cook make yours. Knit, and mine is also knitted. Um, so those are all two chances at the finished object, and if you use my yarn for it, that is tea or tail related, or not, if something else is, if, if you did a, a, Diana's hat. a Diana's hat in my yarn, even though my yarn's not tea related or tail related, it would still be triple the chance, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so that's, now, if, it's in the group if I've confused you completely. Um, let me see here. Um, one week per project per week, the FO, whenever it's finished. Uh... Let's see, Joanna Johnson, Mom Cook, Hoovian. Okay, good. The prizes for this time around, we will be pulling. So our next podcast will be what? 
uh, uh, September 30th, I think, right? Because we're doing a Sunday. Weren't we doing Tuesday when we came back? Oh, that's right. We're doing Tuesday. So we have one. We'll have a, a few more days. We won't be doing uh, pulling for for the end of the year for the end of the um, tortoise versus hare and dysautonomia and the third quarter for this until two weeks because we're still in September when we come back. And um, just give the prizes a little time to get it out to you because until I get my first paycheck from the new job, um, nothing will be going anywhere. Right. I'll, I'll do. I might do some of them, but. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it just depends on if I can get out. If I, the only way that it might get out sooner is if I give you some money in your mm -hmm. account and then you can go ahead and do it. We try to help each other out that way. So, okay. Um, the, the prizes for the third quarter is a scan of Lady Flinder Co. Creations in the DK base. It's called the Mystic Colorway, and that was donated by Stephanie, who's Cookie45, as well as the Franciscan Gypsy Designs mug, also donated by Stephanie. Thank mm -hmm. you for your generosity, you. Stephanie. We really appreciate it. That goes, one goes to one pr winner, and the other goes to the other winner. All right? Uh, the, the, I'm not going to talk about the fourth quarter. We'll get to that. And I showed you the big prize last week, so I'm not going to go through that either, which brings us to Cardiac dysautonomia awareness cal cal okay and this one is drawing to a close um in about a week and a half so we'll have one more podcast that deals with this before we pull for prizes and we didn't talk a lot about cardiac this year because we've last four years we have done a lot of cardiac mm -hmm. this time was mostly dysautonomia it's a new thing for us as well as for the for the um along and I didn't know anything about it. I don't think Talia knew anything about no, it. No, they don't teach it in, um, in nursing or in um, physician schools. Right. So we apologize if we were a little heavy on the dysautonomia and that was not quite what you wanted to hear. If you don't want to hear the dysautonomia awareness, please feel free to fast forward through it. But it is part of the along, so Talia might have a little bit to say before we want well, mm -hmm. to give you an update on what happened in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Okay? So before she gets to that, though... Uh, this is to foster cardiac awareness and dysautonomia awareness. Um, the rules are basically the same, so I'm not going to go through all the rules again, except to say that there is one difference, that in this along, the colors that you need to use, at least a greater proportion, 50 to 75 percent, of shades of blue, aqua, teal, turquoise, red, or pink. Any shades of those colors must be substantially in the project which you are posting f to be eligible for a prize okay doesn't have to be all of them well that would be great like in stripes or something mm -hmm. um but at least the vast majority of the project needs to be in one or more of those colors okay because dysautonomia is the blues the teals the green blues that kind of thing and we're pretty liberal on that green blue teal because mm -hmm. aquas and teals tend to be a little bit um difficult yeah, they, they, they're fluid, okay, for lack of a better term. And and then, of course, just the blues, because blue is one of the colors. Um, the reds and pinks, the shades of red and pink, is for the cardiac side of it, okay? And it gives you a little more to play with. It does, because uh, not everyone likes reds and pinks. Mm -hmm. Almost everybody likes blues and greens, but not yeah. everybody. So um, it's good to have kind of the either end of the spectrum, mm -hmm. the cool and it, the It makes it uh, a lot more accessible to everybody. Yeah, and we were happy about that, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, um, that's the only thing I have to say about that particular part of it. Um, the projects cannot be finished before the along started. So, if you didn't, if it finished before July first, it's not eligible. But it can be a whip. It can be a whip um, as long as you work on it in the time between the first and the thirtieth, the first of July and the thirtieth of September. It will be eligible. All right. Okay, as always, Franciscan Gypsy Designs that are reds, pinks, blues, teals will be eligible for any chance at a prize. If you use my yarn in those colors, also eligible for two chances at a prize. If her pattern and my yarn in those colors, three chances at a prize for the FO, okay? Okay, we have a prize donated by Rena Gale, who is Rena. Thank you, Rena. Thank you, Rena. A lovely donation, generous donation of up to $10 of a download, downloadable Ravelry pattern, which is awesome. And we have a skein of Happy Fuzzy Yarn in the Macaw colorway, and that Jits Farf Pot Soda Nodal colorway. <laughs> I think it's a <clears throat> white yarn. I showed that last week. Okay, so do you have anything to say? 
Um, mostly an update. Um, as you know, or as people who were with us last week know, um, we were headed to New Jersey last week for um, testing. Um, and I was off my meds for it because they wanted to get accurate results with me not on my meds. Um, they actually did an extra test. They did an autonomic nervous system testing again um, to see how it was off the meds. They did a tilt table test which we actually had to stay an extra day for mm -hmm. because they didn't have the equipment needed. Um, thankfully they got it the next day and um, they did a balance test um, and I got definitely diagnosed with POTS. Classic uh, POTS, you said. Yes, they uh, said basically my POTS is like textbook POTS um, when they, uh, without my medicines. Um, and with the balance test, they also determined that I have a vertigo um, related to the autonomic nervous system being messed up. Um, so, um, they adjusted the meds, and we'll see. It's been a rough, um... It's been a rough week back. Yes. Um, She's getting better, but she had a rough four or five days. There was a point where I was having difficulty walking because I felt so bad. Um, Davina, the, Davina picks up very, very quickly on that, and it's good that you're allowing her to help now because mm -hmm. it makes her feel... A, one part of her doesn't like the fact that she's not the center of attention mm -hmm. anymore. But the other part likes the fact that she's not always the one who needs to be helped. Mm -hmm. And so she's she's really embracing the fact that her sister needs help. And because when it's bad, it can be very, very bad. I had to, I have a cane that I use. Um, Tell him the name. The cane's name is 3PO. Because mm -hmm. he's golden. Because he's golden. Um, and annoying. <laughs> and annoying. <laughs> But useful. Yes. Um, he speaks 500 million languages. <laughs> but um, it sort of feels, besides lightheadedness, it can feel like the world is in slow motion and mm -hmm. like I'm walking through quicksand. Um, it's a very odd feeling. And I was also getting chest pain. Mm -hmm. um, the symptoms are improving now that the meds are getting back in my, sim in my system. But with the meds having been out of my system, with the traveling causing extra stress, and with the things. weather and other things, it was just a um, perfect storm mm -hmm. for some some of the worst symptoms I've had in a while. Mm -hmm. um, but um, some definite improvement. I mean, every once in a while, if I turn my head too quick, I can tell where the vertigo comes from. Yeah, yeah. Um, or that the, or that there is vertigo. Um, not necessarily the full fledged room spinning like although I've had that on occasion just not recently but enough to know like okay my balance is off yeah um but um I had to break down and for fiber festivals just because I want to be able to enjoy them and not have to worry about whether or not I'll be too tired to drive home I've picked up a um walker with a seat um and, and that is and that's R2, mm -hmm. um, because he's blue. Mm -hmm. So, um, there are definite adjustments that I never saw myself having to make. And I know once I actually use R2, that will be a bit of a blow. Mm -hmm. um, well, Davina is very much to the point where you have to use this, you have to bring this with you, you have to take this with you. What if you have to stand in line? You have to do this, you have to do that. She wants me to bring my shower chair with yes, me. Yes. Um, It'd be a little too much to put in the back. I mean, if you had to have it, well, I can it. sit on the side tub if I needed yeah, to. Yeah. Um. So. Um. Not with your vertical, you fall off. I have never fallen. Mm. Don't um, do it at the retreat. <laughs> but yes, um, it's a, uh, it's been an interesting go. Um. Just a reminder that, yes, I do definitely have this. Um, it's actually a relief. It's a relief to definitely know and have an absolute diagnosis. Um, to have multiple tests come back with, yes, there is something. It is absolutely not in your head. Yeah. And this um, is what we can do to ma manage it. Yes. Or try to manage it. Try to manage it. Mm -hmm. um, 
Uh, now, of course, I managed to get the condition that there is no cure for. Um, My children don't get anything normal. No. No. No, unless it has something to do with the parents. Mm -hmm. Never claimed to be normal. <laughs> Boring. So, um, yeah, that's uh, kind of the... Um, the update, um, I have a pretty new pink pill that was, it was white before, so now it's, it's pink because it's a bigger dose, so it's prettier than it used to be. Because that's apparently what's important. Yes, oh, definitely. Well, you have to take your, uh, you know, like naming the, the apparatus that she uses and getting little small joys out of different color pill than normal is one of the positive spins, one of the fun things you can do to make it a little more, mm -hmm. you know, less difficult maybe there's two water bottles i switch between mm -hmm. that um because i had to drink so much water but they, i want to make sure they get clean they know fluffy right i mean i don't think they knew my red water bottle i usually use that one's name is fluffy mm -hmm. explain um apparently he makes meowing noises when we I were in, we were in the movie theater and she had the red water bottle with her and it mewed in the middle of the movie theater so um mom made a comment about it and i was like don't you hurt fluffy's feelings so that's fluffy mm -hmm. And when I got my extra one, so when I need to, when Fluffy needs to be cleaned, of course this one had to be Fido. Yeah. So, and he actually makes a deeper noise. Does he really? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Fido and Fluffy. Um, and you, you take your your joy and your humor where you can find it when you have something that's chronic. So I'm glad that you have the ability to, you know, you have the apparatus. You might as well have fun with it. Yeah. You need to name your shower chair now. I do. It's feeling so hurt. I don't know. Sit on it, Potsy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just. <laughs> I was actually talking about the character, but. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Never mind. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> so, yes, um, just the different small uh, things. Um, and yes, Wombat of Doom. Doom, doom, doom. Um, I should contact Mots for. Um, yes. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Mots for Pots. Yes, I um, took a picture of Instagram with an update that had a picture of my pills. And when I take pills, I'm a wimp, and I take it with applesauce um, because I, I was always that kid you had to bribe to take medicine. What is she on a uh, Ravelry? She's not Wombat of Doom on Ravelry. She's a Wombat Knitter. Wombat Knitter. On uh, Ravelry, I believe. Knitter. And I'm not sure if that's two T's or not, but not Knitter, but Wombat. I think Wombat just has one T. I think Wombat just has one T. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, um, I had a picture of that with my applesauce, and it was one of the little individual ones, because usually I don't use one of the individual ones, but when we went to New Jersey, that was all we could find, because mm -hmm. I wasn't anticipating staying over and having time to take my meds. Yeah, we were going to make a one-day trip, so. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bad weather on the way up, too. Mm -hmm. Not the way up, but once we got there. Yeah. Um, it was bad, bad weather on the way back. A little bit, yeah. We saw we saw two major accidents, one on the way up and one on the mm -hmm. way back. Mm -hmm. um, they're both on the other side. Mm -hmm. Thank God we'd still be in line. Yes. We'd still be waiting there. Um but, um, yeah, um, Wombat of Doom. doom. Uh, you don't say it right. Doom. I don't have the energy to say it right. Excuses. <laughs> um, uh, she, she said it looked like I was doing commercial. Oh, that's her. funny. So. Okay, so are you done? I am done. I'm just rambling at this point. All right, I have seven. I have five. Okay. Let me start out here because we're now get to the actual part that everybody wants to see. Half an hour in. Okay. In my Kiki Boo Holiday Owls bag is my Teal Preemie Baby Hat Project. And actually, this is not a, pre a Preemie. This is actually a baby hat. Just a baby hat. We really need to drop off the baby hat to have my room. Yeah, I need to finish the sweater. Maybe I'll try to work on that this week. Um, so this is the... I didn't make a whole lot of project progress. What is, what is the problem here? Did you get your tail stuck in there? Oh, I see. It's a, it's just the, where I've got it tied. 
So I made a little more progress. You can see it's actually hanging down now. And it's a teal colorway. This is Yarn B. And I like this colorway. It's, it's more green than blue, but it is definitely a teal because it says so on the thing. There, now it won't bug me. Okay. So I did make some progress. This is a very restful color to work with. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of nice and... And nice. Nice. It's nice to be nice. So that's that. And do I have to do two? Yes, you do. And then you can go one on one? Yes. All right. In my. my uh, oops. This is a buddy. Sandy. Stitched by Mimi. Bag. He cuts bag. I went back. So happy bag. Um, this is a really sturdy bag. It, it almost feels like it's quilted. It's got silk inside. I really like the Satin inside, inside fabric. Is my bonfire shawl. This is from the Sock Knitter Shawl by KF Jones. And I did a couple rows on this. I can only do one or two rows at a time. I've come to the conclusion that while my hands are hurting me, I should only do one row on a large project a day. And then maybe I have a chance to do other projects. Mm -hmm. Because then my hands hurt afterward and I can't do anything for the rest of the day. So I didn't make a whole lot of progress on here. But I did work on it, so you're seeing it. It is getting big. Mm -hmm. I really, it's going to be such a nice shawl when I finish yeah, it. Yeah, Kay makes a really nice. And it's really not your normal colors. I do like autumn colors. I always have, mm -hmm. but I don't normally wear a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Um, I do like the burnt orange. I don't like orange orange, but I like the burnt orange, and I like you know like this. You see those, those kind of the darker oranges. I like those. Um, so I'm using my Chow Goose with this. I think they're size nines. Yeah. Because I had to talk you into your second color. Well, I wasn't sure. And to be like, no, you absolutely have to use that color. It's going to be really pretty because it's just a small border, right? I mean, it's not that mm -hmm. big a border. Um, can you see that? Yeah, they can. There. So it'll be really nice. I mean, there really was no other way to do that. And I've given up the idea of finishing it before the fiber festival which is at the end of the month because whenever I push my hands I get into trouble mm -hmm. so I'm just going to do it as I can it if I don't have it finished for this year then I'll wear it next year it's not gonna kill anybody so stop that you <laughs> oboe head <laughs> so that's that love the pattern love the yarn love the bag so in my Clover bird kissing bunnies back. My hair is like awful today. Um, is at least you don't look like alfalfa today. Well, you caught me yesterday right after I came off the walk with and took my baseball cap off. Mm -hmm. I didn't have alfalfa hair. <laughs> um, in my kissing bunnies bag is the Just a Little Chili Mitered Square Afghan using Scrap Sport, Decay, and Worst to Weight yarns. Did you change the name? Mm -hmm. From Afghan to Blanket? Or Blanket to Afghan? Mm -mm. Okay. I might have called it Blanket in the past, oh, okay. but it is Afghan. Okay. I'm just um, curious. And it's inspired by K.F. Jones Bakery Bears fame. I like that. So I, I finished this square here. And this stitch marker is by Maureen. Yeah. She this is not something that she picked up the charm. She actually made this autism awareness puzzle piece. Yes, yeah, she did. It's if you watch the one of the podcasts where she shows, it's really time consuming to do that. And then I um, started this square and worked on it a little bit. That only got worked on a little. The this blanket only got worked on a little bit before we went to New Jersey, and now. <laughs> um, so it's gotten a little bit of love. But that's about it. Okay. My next project is one you haven't seen in a while. This is On Cloud Nine from Lala Simple Shawl by Laura Linneman. And I'm using US 10 and a half Chow Goose. And I wanted to work this. So I did. <laughs> I know I was supposed to be working the other one, but I wanted to work this one. Well, there's no knitting place. Mm -mm. And I have, you know, it doesn't look, this does grow pretty quickly when you, when you do it because it's a bulky weight yarn. Mm -hmm. I really love this pattern. I can see myself making another one as soon as I finish some of the other things I'm doing. 
Isn't that pretty pattern? It I just is very pretty. absolutely love this. And because it's a bulky yarn, if I didn't have issues with my hands, this would have been finished long ago. Mm -hmm. It's just so, so pretty. And I can see myself making more for gifts or making it for charity or whatever. It's just going to be a lot slower than I anticipated um, because, you know, just the nature of things. The needle cozy or needle DPN holder thing that I'm using is by um, Sheila, who is, uh, thank God for bags. And it, it works really, really well for the uh, circulars as well. Let me just put this in here. My yarn, my project's getting a little too big for me to get it all the way on there. But so that's that. The yarn is, uh, I think it's Knit Picks. Let me see. Oh, it's Undead Yarn Bulky. I bought this from Heidi when she still had some of it. And this is what I have left of the second ball. I have four balls all together. So I'm hoping to have a shawl that's about as big as Ty's because you said you used saw, uh, four balls of yours. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me do my decrease. Um, because I'm not quite sure which bag this is in. Um, my okay. watch is telling me I have to get up and move. It's bossy, isn't it? Mm hmm. I think it's in this one. Um, let me take a peek in there, make sure. In my Plover Bird. Hardest bigger on the inside bag, yeah. Um, is the White Queen? It's the Shorney's pattern by Ann Kingstone, and I'm using Miss Babs Yow's in the colorway Naked and Frog Tree Pod uh, uh, Petaboo Sport in the colorway 1401 Charcoal Tonal. So, uh, whoopsie, it's not the right one. I was gonna say, it's not charcoal tonal. <laughs> um, the bag is wrong, but all those all the rest of the information is correct. The bag is actually my Silver Shed uh, USA uh, Franciscan Gypsy bag. There we go. And this got worked on during um, uh, uh, Clementine. Um, my darling Clementine. My darling Clementine. Henry Fonda. Mm hmm Movie. So. Very pretty. Oh, that's nice. So I'm out of the sheep and into the uh, fun pattern on top. Should really start nice. decreasing pretty soon. Um, That's really pretty time. Thank you. I really like the way it looks. So, is that the one you got? That's not the one you got in Maryland. Where'd you get? No, um, this one I just got off of Ravelry. I'd actually started it before I bought the one in Maryland. Right. Uh -huh. Is that a free pattern? No, I had bought this. Oh, okay. Um, she also has a cow, cow, um, for this, but I don't tend to wear cows. You don't tend to wear cows? Cows. Oh, cowl. I thought you said cow. I said cow. Cowl. Cow. Enunciate your L. Cowl. Cowl. Clean out your ears. Well, enunciate your L. Cowl. Cowl. No, I don't. Apparently you didn't clean your ears when you took that shower. Apparently you don't speak clearly. No, I think that the fault is yours. Okay, you always do. Anyway, the Shearwood shawl is in my Cloverbird teacups bag, tea mm. party bag. And this is the Shearwood shawl from the TGV High Speed Knitting. Yes, I took it out because I talked to Ty and figured out I started the ribbing on this. Oopsie, it's funny. So I did, I think I did, oops, there goes Selena. Oh, you um, just knocked that poor kitty no, down. No, I didn't. Oh, I'm in the middle of the row for this, I think. Yeah, you did stop in the middle of the row Yeah, for I that. did. I stopped in the middle of the row. So, um, you can't really see. It doesn't look like it's very big, but I think it's going to block well. And I still have about half the skein of yarn because it requires a lot of ribbing. Mm -hmm. I have this much yarn. So, this is the a skein of yarn. It's hand spun that Lara Smoot gave me. And I love it. I absolutely love these colors. And it's working up really, really nicely. And I think it's going to block out nicely. So I just have to be careful, you know. You kind of get an idea of what it's looking like. So this is really a lot of fun. I'm using... Is it a, a thick ribbing? Um, I'm not sure. Let me see. I don't know if I have a picture on this or not. Let me see. 
I love Susan Ashcraft, Susan Ashcraft's patterns. Um, because she has a wide, yes, it is. It's a wide ribbing. Oh, okay. Can you see the ribbing on? Oh, let's see. Can you see the ribbing on this? It's quite wide. So, I've I've got one finished pattern of hers, mm -hmm. and this is my second one. I just really like it, and this was all the rage about what three years ago. I remember hearing about the it. The TGV. It just took me a long time to get first of all to get started knitting, and then to decide I wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I thought I dropped something. Jeez. No, it's just my uh, okay. needle falling. Okay. Had to roll. There we go. In my, this isn't the project I've worked on the most. In my Plover Bird Turtles bag is Hopeful Neapolitan. It's a Cold Harbor Twist Pattern by Wooly Wormhead. I think I barely started it last week. And I'm using Wild Fair, Wild Hair. <laughs> Wild Fair, huh? Wild Fair, yes. Wild Hair Fiber Studio Pinnacle DK in the colorway Hope. And this is for Davina. So it's a beret. And it's working up really nicely. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. And I'm currently in the knitter's back black hole because I'm never going to reach the length I need to. It's really pretty. I just I like the way it's working up. So that's really nice. Uh huh. She'll love it. Yeah, she will absolutely love it. Do you have some kind of like? Is it, are these pearls here? That's seat stitch. Seat stitch, okay. Uh huh. So, very pretty. The seat stitch always have to be one, 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 one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, main main project I worked seat stitch on was my uh, Vivian sweater. Um, in between the cables, I had seat stitch. What is the difference between seat stitch and one by one ribbing? Okay, so one by one ribbing. You have pearls lining up with knits. Okay. For seed stitch, you have one row is, and it, I'm talking in the round. Right. Um, you have one row with knit pearl, knit pearl, and then on top of it, it's the opposite. Okay. Um, so if you're flat, you do the same. Yes. Okay. Because you want it opposite. Opposite. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh -huh. you'll so otherwise you'll get stuck in it if you don't have it opposite. You'll know you get ripping it. Right, right. You get ribbing. Right, right. Okay. Um, you get a one by one ribbing if you uh, didn't do it correctly. So, it's just you have knit above pearls. Right. And pearl above knit. So, you have the opposites, yeah. Yeah. This is, I like this detail here. Mm -hmm. And that's your stockinette. Mm -hmm. So, it's a, it's a quite simple pattern. I like, her, I'm going to be probably making quite a few woolly worm head hats. Of or patterns for Davina because there were several that she liked. I think this would be really nice in a single color, a tonal or gradient. I, well, I think I will make one in a single color at some point because I think it would be nice. It's very pretty. So, but she wanted this one. Uh -huh. And it is working up nice. Actually, I'm probably going to start knitting on this one. Okay. So. Alright, my next one is in my... Silver Shed USA Caterpillar bag. This is the Tangerine Dreams Preemie Baby Hat. This one's actually a preemie hat. And I did a little work on this. It's my Daloom. It's Daloom? Daloom. This one I have to, you know, tangled a little bit. There we go. So you can see I made some progress on this one. Probably about a third, maybe a little more than a third of the way through the hat before I have to bind off. So, yeah, I don't know if this will be finished or not. I hope so by the time I get back. But, uh, that's that. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, um, in my, this one's moved bags a couple times, but this is one that fits best in my purse, so that's why it's in this bag now. Um, this is my Small Avengers bag by Silver Shed USA. And this is Autumn Countdown, and it's a Twister Hat by K.F. Jones, um, and this is one of the patron, the platinum platinum patron patterns, which are available only to gold and platinum members. Got it right this time. I was listening to the last podcast. It took you twice. <laughs> this is your third try. <laughs> um, and I'm using the Yarn Tree 
merino nylon sock in the colorway X Files Beyond the Thunderdome. Is that Yarn Tree? Is it Yarn Tree Co? Oh, yarn I was tree. just curious. I know that um, Laura has something with Co, and I thought it was Yarn Tree, but I probably it might wrong. be. I'm, I'm sure. probably wrong. No, it's Yar Arkansas Yarn Co. That's what it is. Okay. So, so this is Yarn Tree. Yes. Okay. Um, and it's building up nicely. It's kind of a masculine hat. Mm-hmm. It is. Very pretty. It's just because the colors I chose. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty, though. Very pretty. So there we go. I should be almost done with the rib section. It's another one with a fairly good size ribbing. Not as much as your sheet, but... Uh, yeah. So. There we go with that. Um, and it'll be... It's a fairly mindless hat. It's a nice purse project. Right. It'll be even more mindless once I get to the main section. Make sure I turn this off because I don't have any more tea. Yeah, it's off. Okay. Okay. Um, sorry about the distraction there. In my Silver Shed USA Lady Fernico bag, I love, love, love. Thank you, Anne. Mm -hmm. Um, is why do I have that one? This is not. I didn't bring this bag out. I'm missing a bag. This is not the bag I need. I thought I had my Plover Birds owl bag. It's right there, Mom. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Right in front of me. Sorry. In my Plover Bird owl's bag is, and this I love too, is my um, Autumn in Avon Avonlea product, project from the Ant and Imagination Cal. Anne of Green Gables inspired and I did a little bit it's hard I worked on this when I was at the bookstore while I wait for Ty under appointment I, I actually put a picture of this on Instagram mm -hmm. when I was working on this and I did about three or four rows but it's a it's small progress but you can actually see there see the bumps you can see the patterns mm -hmm. starting and I think this is the, the largest pattern repeat so I'm going to be doing this for a while and that's okay I, I'm I'm not really I'm hoping to finish it by Christmas but um, I'm not in a rush. And this is one of those things that's a smaller pattern so I can do more rows. Right. So that's really nice. I think that that's where I'm going to be going more toward hats and cowls. And mm -hmm. and by cowls, well, cowls, even if they're long, they're still not going to be like a shawl. And right. then I'll have maybe one or two shawls that I go back and forth to. But mostly it's going to be smaller stuff. I might try again the miter square blanket so I can do something bigger. But I think it's going to have to be smaller um, pieces. Mm -hmm. But this is by Tanya Marie Anderson. And I really, she's Sampler Girl. And I really like this pattern. It's the Skano yarn I was talking about last week. And I went on and on about my, how much I love the yarn, but I wish they would do the labels. Mm -hmm. But we're not sure if they do them now. I don't, and yes. And we did, we did make that disclaimer because we got this yarn about four years ago. Mm-hmm. And so when we were doing yarn box, well, some of them was yarn box. This one came in a yarn box, mm -hmm. but um, but I had heard of them prior to yarn. Yeah, box. well, you bought me that blue skein mm -hmm. uh, before that, and you had some you know skeins as well. So this is very nice. It's it's got silk in it, I think, and um, I'm looking forward to finishing this. I'm using US sevens on this, and the yarn itself, in case you are interested in how it looks in the skein, looks like this. I actually have. I actually have three skeins of this. One. Oh, this is a mess. That is a mess. Two. I do have three skeins of this. Ha ha ha. Well, I'm not going to use all this, I don't think, for this skein. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> all right. So, um, my last project is actually in the um, Plover Bird. Uh, Tardis bigger on the inside bag. And this is Styles. Um, it's the Mon Ami hat by KF Jones of Bakery Bears fame. Uh, once again, it is a platinum pattern, which is only available to Bakery Bears patrons who are gold and platinum members. Um, and I'm using Cascade 220 in the colorway 8505 white and Stonehenge Fiber Mill Shepherd's Wool worsted in the colorway garnet. Um, and this got some work done on it. That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. It's a nice 
simple pattern. Oh, you did some work on it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I love the name of that. I just love Poirot. Yes. He always says mommy. Usually talking to Hastings. Hastings. Yeah. Sometimes a Jap. Sometimes a Jap, yeah. Yeah. So, slowly but surely building up. Very nice. What, what is the, is this part of the window thing that she was talking about? Like she said it was the shape on the windows, right? I can't remember. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, you're asking me to remember stuff that's, I, that's really yeah. absurd. Okay. Now, <laughs> because apparently this bag must have the spotlight because the person who's the project that's in this bag must have the spotlight. Oh. This is, as we mentioned last week, this is my very, very persnickety project. This is Miss Peppermint Kitty Cat from the Rat the Kitten Pattern by Talia. And I did make some progress on her. Get my hook out of here. Oh, that's a good color for her eyes, actually. Yeah. So you can see I've started her eyes. Can you see that? Yeah, they can. Just a little bit. Yeah. So I just managed to start her eyes. Again, I worked on this while we were in New Jersey. And I, I do, I love this pattern. It's, it's a lot of fun. So Miss Kitty Cat, uh -uh. Miss Peppermint Kitty Cat, I'm so sorry, um, is making progress. So she does not understand why I have not worked on her since I got back from New Jersey, but... There's that. She's a well-traveled little kitty. She is. So that's that, and that's my last project. No FOs for either of us? No. Okay, let me just pull this. Okay. All right, what are we doing now? Um, do you have any yarn? I do have some yarn. I have a, a bunch of yarn hanging downstairs, and then I have some in my Turbo Nitter 64 Mickey Mouse bag that I won from Kenneth for a long time ago. This one is an untamed oops. It's a fingering sock. Oh, that's really pretty. And I think I'm going to call it Serenity. It's showing up a little more blue than it actually is. This is kind of that greenish teal. Um, I was trying to get a colorway for something else, and this was one of the attempts. And then I mixed, and I mixed it with something other than... I had the colorway that... I was trying for and then I mixed it with another try of the colorway mm -hmm. I was trying for and I got this and I don't remember how I did it so this is definitely a one of a kind I can attempt to make it again but I don't know it'll come out the same way mm -hmm. so this is an untamed oops but it will be up in the shop it's a fingering sock and there's unless of course you decide that you want me to knit that owl color cap for you out of that yeah, if I keep giving you yarn, I'm not going to make anything on my shop. But you would benefit, too, in that case. I would, but let's see here. Okay, I think this is too light for that hat anyway, this fingering sock. Isn't that a It's a DK? fingering. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so this. Okay, that's one. And... Okay, let's see. These... I'm not going to tell you the name yet because I have to talk to somebody first. These colors. This this is the DK. I have a set of fingering drying downstairs. And I will tell you the name of this after I talk to the person I need to talk to. And these things probably will not go up in the shop. We have retreat this weekend. Mm -hmm. So I probably will not update the shop. The earliest will be when we get back from retreat, it's more likely to be the 1st of October, the first week of and October. And you will see a um, internet silence for us when we're on retreat. Yes. Um, we will not be online at all come Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. We will be offline um, until sometime on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, possibly on internet on Monday if we're traveling home Monday night, but yeah. most likely not. Then the other colorway I got, and this is repeatable. I, again, this is not the colorway I intended, but I can repeat this. Mm -hmm. So this is a different colorway. This is called newsprint. Okay. Let 
this is newsprint. And this one is a sport weight. Okay. So that's what I have been doing. The other ones are downstairs. Two of them are the purple that you just saw, kind of plummy purple color. And two of them are happy mail. Mm -hmm. So, and I hope to have more done by the time I need to show you yarn. But I don't know because... It smells like Jacaria uh, dye right now. Or maybe it's your citric acid I'm smelling. It doesn't smell like citric acid. It smells like Dawn soap. Hmm. I'm smelling something that I associate with your yarn dye. Yeah, it's not citric acid. My yarn okay. doesn't usually smell like citric acid. Okay, I'm smelling something that I associate with yarn dye. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's the uh, yarns I have. And I hope to get them up somewhere between the end of September and the first week of October because um, if I'm going to be closing the shop. The shop's going to be on vacation for about four days mm -hmm. while I'm on retreat so people don't have to wait for their orders. Okay, that's that. Okay. Anything else? Um, not that I can think of my, I guess my stash and step enhancements by though. Okay, I do have several stash enhancements because while Talia was at her appointments, we were going store hopping mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, bookstore and all this other kind of stuff. And honestly, we were pretty good. Um, usually we spend a lot more money when we're doing this kind of stuff. I, we tried not to go overboard this time. This actually I got before I... Uh, Did you show that last week? No, it's oh. not even open. I got this. This is Plum Deluxe, um, and I got it just before I left. Come on, there's an easier way. Oh, okay. You see, he has his tab here. Okay, good. Okay, so thank you. This is Plum Deluxe I ordered. I don't remember what I ordered. I have to see. Okay, the little one is Strawberry Rhubarb Oolong Tea. Hmm, that might be interesting. As long as they put sugar in it. <laughs> so that's this one. And then I got chocolate hazelnut dessert tea and coconut macaroon dessert tea. Mm -hmm. Because... Mom loves her dessert teas. I do. Because then I don't have to eat something. I have a little bit of sweet and a little bit of chocolate or whatever, or coconut. And I don't have to eat anything. I can just have tea. So that's that. Andy is awesome. Mm-hmm. While we were at the bookstore, my husband found this for me. This is Gaia. It's a deluxe hand therapy kit. And it kind of shows you how the back, what you can do with these things. You know, one end of this, you can put your finger in it, in and out like this to massage it. This end, I can roll up and down my the inside of my joints. You can see that one actually here. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. And then you have um, three different balls to to squeeze or to you know do exercises with. Um, it says reduce stiffness, soothe joint pain, includes downloadable exercise guide. So and there are free workouts and how-to videos for this. So I'm still gonna get this checked out when things slow down a little bit in my hands. But this, along with I have a bunch of physical therapy equipment because I've had so many issues with shoulders and hips and joints and things like that. Ty bought me a bunch of stuff last Christmas and my husband constantly is trying to find stuff for me to ease up the pain that I have. So this will be, my husband says I put it in my toolkit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's really nice. Um, we went, well, let me see here. Let me do this first. We went to the bookstore twice, which is why I have so much stuff in the bookstore. Um, it was a place that was open the latest. And we could sit. Early. I could. I, the first day I sat and had tea. I didn't buy anything the first day. I bought everything the second day. Mike bought, Mike bought me the uh, hand massager the first day. But I got this, a journal for reflection, a cup of faith. I had a bunch of books out, but this one, I, I don't use these books like this. I keep them and I use them. I write what they say in a notebook so I can reuse these mm -hmm. so I don't have to keep buying them. And then I got this. 
it's got a lot of neat the thing that sold me on this actually to be quite honest with you was um, it has a lot of good technique stuff but I want to make this without the pom-pom mm -hmm. and um, I want to make this a shawl on here but it's, it's lace weight I don't want to make it lace weight I'll use a different weight um, this hat here you know I want to I want to expand my skills a little bit I want to make this I said Davina do you like these she said yes but lose the bow <laughs> so um, this looks like a lot of fun I, I've got a collection now of knitting books loom knitting books and crocheting books I've been weeding out my crochet books to the to be more of a minimum mm -hmm. and I'm trying to do the same with my knitting so I have exactly what I need for all of them knitting cr crocheting loom knitting and hand dyeing mm -hmm. um, so that's that and then we went to Hobby Lobby I said oh my gosh guys I've never seen this before this Hobby Lobby in New Jersey was ginormous absolutely huge we have a big one here this one is huge and it had everything mixed up I couldn't find anything but um, I had to ask where the yarn was this is yarn B scrubology cotton hmm. I have never seen this so I got two of them so I can make scrubbies and this is a I think these are worsted um, Oh no, the DK. No, no, they're worsted. Four. Is that what it says? Four. I can't remember. Four. Yeah, medium. So, I can make scrubbies with this. I I don't have to do any special pattern if I don't want to. I can just, and it's yarn B, and, and I like yarn B. But this is what I was really happy about, and everything was on sale. Look at this. Look what I found. People who know me know this is what I put on every email I send, and I'm so happy to have this. And this is gonna go up here somewhere. Let's see, if you have something you can hang? Oh, okay, uh, yeah, well, Daddy will help me with that later, but yeah. So, um, you know, this is just a piece of cardboard here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm really happy. This is, I have a couple of Bible verses that I really like. This is the one I put on all my emails. So, I was really happy. And this was, I think I ended up paying like three dollars for this or two fifty or something like that. I was so excited about it. They showed it to my husband. I get it. He didn't, even, he didn't look at the price. Get it? Because <laughs> my husband's awesome like that. Um, and the last thing I had, I got, I did not get at. What New you Jersey. see how much fun they were having while I was stuck in there being, being tested on. Oh yeah, it was a lot of fun to have to go running around to get a room for two rooms in the middle of hurricane evacuation. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. See how much fun they had. One dish meals. Oh, my husband sent us, we got a freebie from uh, Amazon, Kindle, mm -hmm. and he sent it to both Ty and me, and it's fall baking, mm -hmm. so we're excited about that. Pumpkin I, baking. Pumpkin. I love to cook, and I love to bake. Um, I have to get back into it. The problem is with my husband's distances and some of the foods that bother him, it's really hard to be as adventurous Prolific. as I, huh? Prolific. Well, not prolific, but as adventurous as I'd like to be because he can't eat certain things and then have to drive an hour. Mm -hmm. So, we, you know, we have about a little time when, and then when he retires, we'll be able to be a little more adventurous again. But, so that's that. All the stash enhancements. I thought I was pretty good, actually. Um, I was better. Ah, you didn't have any choice. Okay, so that's that. Um, we do want to warn everybody, or remind everybody, we said so at the top of the show, that... Um, the podcast this coming week will be Tuesday, okay? So Tuesday, uh, September, or whatever mm -hmm. that is. Mm -hmm. And then the following week will be on a Sunday. And then after that, it'll be Saturdays, most yes. likely. Okay, so we will, we will continue to remind you so, you know, you don't get caught flat-footed. Um, do you have anything that you want to say... Nope, I'm, I'm being sleepy. I can see that. You shouldn't be. You, slept, you overslept this morning. Um, don't blink at me. It makes no never mind to me. Okay, we do want to thank all the people who commented on Ravelry and on YouTube. I apologize. I was unable to get to anybody this time around. We were just so chaotic and you know, just moving all over the place. I 
did answer, I probably should have answered the, the Ravelry thread when I was answering some of the tea and tails. For some reason, I thought that thread was going to be closing real soon. I think I thought it was a cardiac dysautonomia. Mm -hmm. And so I was trying to get some of those answered because I was so far behind. I probably should have done Ravelry. We do read them. I read them, mm -hmm. and I meant to answer them. We had a whole bunch of questions. Um, so they made me giggle. Yes, they, they're they fun. They So I apologize. We will get to them as soon as we can. Um, we did, I did see the top of my head for a minute. The YouTube comments, um, I'll get to those. Should I do the ephemera first? I don't know. I'll do the YouTube comments first. Okay, I'm not going to answer all these YouTube, but somebody asked, uh, the Wager Zoo asked if we're going to sheep in, uh, New York Sheep and Wool. Um, no, we aren't. Mm -hmm. we are, we're going to Shenandoah, and Maryland, um, New York is too close in time to to go to that to that one. And it's just... And the distance. It's, the distance is too much for us as well. So we're just going to Shenandoah this year, and we went to Maryland in May, and we hope to go to Maryland the following May. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to see us, you'll, you can see us at either Maryland Sheep and Wool or at Shenandoah. Shenandoah. The other ones here um, we will answer later on. We thank you for all your congratulations mm -hmm. and good wishes for Taya's job and for the thank safe you. and the safe wishes, you know, the prayers for our safe with the storm uh, trip with the storm and and all that. We appreciate that. I know your prayers and good wishes, you know, are the reason that we got back here safely. Mm -hmm. All right, now um, knitting ephemera. This is. Let me get my glasses. Yes. Okay, because old mm. people like me need glasses. All right, oh, these are dirty. I need to wash them. Okay. All right, Princess Diana was photographed wearing her famous black sheep sweater, a red pullover featured, featuring white intarsia sheep with just one black sheep in June 1981 at a, fo a polo match in Windsor. Designed by Sally Muir, Muir, Muir? and Joanna Osborne, the sweater became inexorably associated with Princess Diana and her fashion legacy. The Victoria and Albert Museum added the original sweater, which was a gift to Diana from the mother of one of her page boys, to the collection in 1983. Knitters interested in making their own black sheep sweater can find the original pattern by Muir and Osborne available as a free download on Ravelry.com. I'm going to have to check oh. that out. Okay, not that I'm going to make a sweater, but that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, now, another, I'm, I'm doing some random facts here on this page. A center pull ball was often called a false was once clue. called. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. A center pull ball. You see, my glasses aren't helping. A center pull ball was once called a false clue. Clue is an old Anglo-Saxon word for a ball of yarn. Perhaps the two terms are related. Hmm. Huh. And clue in the second term. Okay, so false clue was initially spelled like a uh, C-L-U-E, like a yeah. mystery clue. Yeah. And the other form was spelled C-L-E-W. -E All right. Author Hans Christian Andersen wrote a fairy tale called The Darning Needle about about a well darning needle who fancied herself a bit above her station and came to a bad end. I don't think I've read that one. No, I haven't read that one. Okay. Celebrity knitters in classic Hollywood is the last thing I'm going to leave you with. Katherine Hepburn, Joan Crawford, Vivian Lee, Ava Gardner, Doris Day, Ingrid Bergman, Sophia Loren, Debbie Reynolds, Lucille Ball, Audrey Hepburn, Ginger Rogers, Rita Hayworth, Carol Lombard, Marilyn Monroe, and Edith Edith Piaf. That's the only one I don't recognize. Now, I think who also must have um, knit was, um, what's her name? Um, Darn Zapitos. Oh, um, yes. Um, I know, I can see her. Um, Olivia de Havilland. No, she's not. No, 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 no. You're, not, no. you're, um, you're talking about uh, Jean, Jean Arthur. Yes. Yes, she was in um, with Jimmy Stewart and um, yes, and uh, you can't take it with you because she was definitely knitting that movie. Yeah, so and she messed up and had to uh, tink back. There, I think it's more common to find it back in classic. Although mm -hmm. you can find people who knit, who are actors and actresses now, and more like the actors as well. Well, yeah, I mean the famous one is the girl who plays Jessica Jones, mm -hmm. who taught the guy who played Daredevil mm -hmm. to knit. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And when you start getting your superheroes like Catwoman and Batman and things like that knitting, which is kind of funny. So, you know, anyway, that be that as May. I do want to thank the people who made YouTube comments. Um, Raven's Hat, Donna, Linderscraft, 
plays with yarn. Rena and Wombat of Doom, Doom. 53. Uh, for your comments on YouTube, I do apologize to everybody, both Ravelry and YouTube, for not getting to you quicker. We hope to see you back here for the Foon and the Woman Cave next week on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Um, in the meantime, we wish you a week full of knitting, crocheting, whatever it is that makes you happy. And we hope to see you back here soon. This is the Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast, episode 324, I believe. And that's a wrap. Bye.